clock on the dot as if I rehearsed it. 12 p.m. Yeah, I just moved the chair around because uh, I wanted to add the the mobile phone, click that to the charger, playing Scala Radio at full volume whilst I have a shower. But the moment I turned on the jet, I couldn't hear a single thing. A complete waste of time. So once again, hello, welcome to what they say is another video or vlog. Um, just about to do the usual start of my day, which means get going in the kitchen. So I can hear voices out there. I've been louder than mine. Um, ba -da -ba 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 some music? No? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the kitchen basically, wash the dishes, listen to more scar on the radio, maybe Jazz FM. I like to, I get very, with this hub thing, I can just say, look, play this, play that, and then play something else. Radio X London? No. Absolute 90s? No. Absolute 80s? No. Absolute 70s? Sometimes absolute 60s or even UK, UK gold, gold London or even Radio 2. Radio 2 on Saturday is pretty good, especially later on when it's uh, Wylan and Lisa, Lisa Tarbock. She is absolutely fun. She's mad. She's mad and funny. Not mad like that, but she acts mad. And she's got a mad set of. Uh, her personality is just whew, number 11, it's just, she's uh, very funny as a result of it. Because she's, she's an actress so she gets into, she gets into character sometimes and puts on an accent or what have you. And it just, it's, I think it's my kind of humour, you know, so I can tap into it and relate. So that's the plan, go in the kitchen, wash dishes, microwave, baked beans, toast, coffee, etc. I sit down and watch my latest video which I uploaded around the 5 a.m. mark. Again, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. It didn't crash at all yesterday. I don't think so. I can't recall it. If it did, I don't remember it. It couldn't have made an impact. And I'm using Chrome still. And of course, the upload to the studio uploader is, as I say, you know, a quick and uh, yeah, I listen to jazz if I'm in bed when I go to bed, sucking on a eclair. And of course, I've got water next to me, so I'm always hydrated. So it's you know good little routine I have. Right, so I'm going to start. It's 1.45 and saw my video, I was happy with the results and then I thought to myself I'll check out a few DaVinci Resolve videos mainly on the dual screen, the external monitor setup uh, because at the moment although I can view everything on the second monitor which is good I don't have the same setup as I do on Shotcut where I have the big screen just for the viewer and the laptop screen for the controls I can't I haven't got that figuring that out yet so I'm watching a few videos and I think I've got the idea I mean I was trying to do it instinctively before and I'm surprised I didn't see these options there. I don't know if they're, they're there in version 16.2, but I'm looking at version 16, 16.2. 16 
16.0, 16, uh, because um, it, it didn't have an external monitor feature until version 16 came out. And I don't know if they took it off or made some changes to it because I'm using 16.2 and I, I don't see the options that that they were showing. So uh, maybe I missed it, but as I say, instinctively it would be on this. It's all part of the workspace venue, but for some reason I didn't, I didn't jump out at me when I was doing it instinctively. So I was looking at a couple of YouTube videos there. And another DaVinci Resolve video, again on 3D text, which I use for the thumbnails. Um, when I do it, I, I like to sort of pivot it so that I think it looks like a, you can see the top of it in 3D instead of just the front and the sides, which is okay. But I like it, I like to tilt it and I haven't figured out how to do it. And again, I'm watching a couple of videos on how to do that. Um, it's about lighting it. I'm not even sure if I've figured out how to do it yet. Anyway, uh, I've just stopped watching videos for now because um, I'm going to go downstairs for my daily walk just to see what's in the post box because I ordered something on Amazon, so I shouldn't read out the point other online retailers are are available I should say but I just haven't choose this one I don't know anyway I don't want to get into that so I ordered it I ordered it what have I ordered I've ordered a USB hub it's like a plug board for USB because I've run out of USB sockets on the laptop and last time I mentioned this in the vlog, I stumbled onto the HDMI socket, which um, lit a big a light bulb in my head about using a second monitor because of the HDA connection. And of course, that was a revelation. But I still need three, at least three, um, USB sockets sockets on the laptop. I have two um, on either side of the keyboard. Uh, one is for the mouse and one is for the flash drive. But when I come to transfer files, I need a third socket. I'm happy to pull, it, pull out the keyboard, but of course Transferring files with the mouse pad, track, track pad, tracking pad, mouse pad is a bit of a, whew, a near mess. You can, it's not as exact as a mouse. Anyway, I've ordered one um, a few days ago, so it's small enough to fit in the post box. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to have my daily exercise. Come up. See if I'll, I'll probably come back with Bill or John you know. But you never know, it could be uh, in there. I've got a feeling it might be. However, I should have an email to say it's been delivered, so I don't think it's been delivered yet. So it hasn't been delivered. But I'll just see if there's any post doing my up and down the stairs exercise. Come back up here. This to Scarlet Radio because there's a film program on about now. I've missed probably 45 minutes of it, but there's another hour to go to do with movies and movie songs, movie, movie music. A uh, couple of pint of grapefruit juice and begin with the edit for two or three hours. Stop and then break for for a meal. Right, that's the plan for now and I'm about to execute it.
to the left. <laughs> and I bet when I check the email now, it'll say it's been delivered. Wow, this is going to be interesting. An unpackaging video embedded in today's vlog. Why not? Right, here we go. It's Hammer, the smart solution. USB 1 colon 4. It's a ratio. 1 to 4. Bus powered. 4, pol four ports. Greater distance between sockets. On the back. It's got a picture of a laptop the hub itself and of course what you can use you can use a keyboard a USB stick that's it keyboard and USB stick oh this is really exciting okay in English it says USB hub colon four bus powered for connecting up to, for connecting up to four USB devices for example a mouse keyboard printer USB memory stick to one USB port, bus powered. Oh, I hope it is bus powered. I.e. power supply via the USB socket of a PC notebook. Power supply via USB socket. Okay. Integrated USB cable for connection with a PC notebook. Suitable and tested for USB 2.0 downward, compatible with USB 1.1. Right, let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go. We've got one USB, two USB, three USB. Now this is the flash drive. And now we've got the cable for file transfer and we have the keyboard. Right, let's have a look inside. Oh, my god, it's torn already. Okay, this is just the. Right, let's go straight into it. It should be. <laughs> I'm going the wrong direction. So here we go then. Oops. Okay. Right. Optical mouse, it's recognized it. Now I'm going to put in the oops, I'm going to put in the the wire transfer. 
Okay, so now I need to connect this up to the device. So there we have it. I've connected up the file transfer cable. That is the, the mouse. And this is the US, uh, the flash drive. So let's see if the mouse works. Well, if you look on the screen, there's the mouse. So the mouse is working. Let's open up the file explorer. And there is the flash drive. So mouse, tick, flash drive, tick. And now the device. Here we go, Galaxy. Yep. Here we go. That's it. And the file transfer device, tick. So it's a success. Right, so that was a success. Um, I'm also now transferring those files you just saw on the device to the flash drive. I just see if there's a performance issue there, but So far so good at the moment. So it's a thumbs up. So that's really good, that's a really good find. All that's left for me to do now is actually click on DaVinci Resolve. It takes about two minutes to load. 1422, so 1424, it should be up and running. While that's happening, I'm going to pop next door and fill up a pint of, fill up a pint of. I'm gonna fill the pint with pink grapefruit juice. It's quarter to four. And there have been some issues with the new USB hub. As you can see, I've replaced the keyboard, uh, the mouse, or rather the mouse, <laughs> it's all, all over the place. Yeah, I've replaced the mouse with the USB drive. Because every time, because the mouse and the file transfer cable were on the same hub, every time I moved the mouse, it seemed to have disconnected, made a disconnection. So when it came to doing the file transfer, which I was doing with today's footage as a test, it was failing. So I thought, well, perhaps the mouse, since the mouse is at fault, maybe it should be independent to the hub. So I had, I'd used these two sockets here, flash drive and file transfer. And that was a problem as well. So I end up doing it I think every time you move this, there's a problem because the file transfer cable is quite delicate at the best of times. So if, if I put it symmetrical like this, so the, there's an even balance, maybe not weight wise, but yeah, weight wise, yeah, it takes the weight off this side and puts it on that side, it might work. So. But because every time I lost the connection, it created um, I had two versions of a couple of files. Two that couldn't play and two that could. Um, well, yeah. So... 
I had two different files so I had to create rename these two files and then copy these two files across so you've got four separate files and then work out which of the two files are corrupt or I tried to play them uh, there were, and of course I found the two that couldn't play deleted them uh, I didn't move them because the move the move was upset so I did a copy and in the case of comparing this nine to that nine and see if the size the total size were the same once that was the case I just cleared out what was on the uh, device and kept what's on the flash drive and also I did get a pint of grapefruit juice but because the device was in use and I didn't want this to get any warmer than it was well I was going to drink it as cold as possible I've had the so I've, believe it or not I have had the pink grapefruit juice and have drunk it I did open up DaVinci Resolve um, I said it was 1422 that gives you an idea how long this messing about has been because it's quarter to it's 10 to 5 and at 20 past 2 or 22 past 2 to be exact I was I opened up DaVinci and it, it finally appeared on the screen it, it appeared on the screen at 14.29 so it took it's trying to tell me that it took seven minutes to um, load but I find that difficult to believe it doesn't it never seems that long so 14.22 to 16.50 um, <laughs> hours 20 minutes 2 hours 20 minutes just messing about with file transfers anyway without further ado I'm going to start editing yesterday's video Right, so I'm opening DaVinci Resolve. Because when it disconnects, yeah, the file manager hangs. So I have to restart the laptop, which means, although it took seven minutes to open DaVinci Resolve, because of the file manager, hanging, I've had to restart it, so it means I have to restart the Vinci too. I'm just going to get some water now. I also feel ready for a nap. of the hub and the um, file transfer right to the edit and beyond the 
that before now. I um, remember earlier I said I was watching YouTube videos on DaVinci Resolve second monitor and I looked on the menu options again I couldn't find it and then I thought I bet it's the studio version the paid version that has the uh, second monitor full viewer option functionality so I did a quick search on the uh, internet and yes to have what shortcut has we have the, the full view on this screen and all the controls on this screen you need to have the studio version of DaVinci so Let's have to put that to rest, but I don't mind editing on a full screen like that because what this has got that Shocker hasn't got is um, a full screen option, so I can toggle. I mean, from all the everything on one page to a, just the viewer, I can toggle it. Shortcut you can't. So uh, it's not a major problem, and uh, I've been using DaVinci now for the last what two or three edits, and it's been quite satis satisfying, satisfactory. And what I've decided to do was instead of keep recreating the titles, I'm going to use the last, the previous file as a template for the next one. And already the uh, titling has uh, been pretty quick. So uh, I think I'll do that. I don't know why I should make it harder than it already is. Right, um, I haven't really. I've only dragged on one click at the moment and then the title's on top of that but uh, I think we're on our way it's half past six so I'll probably count to five and then take this this so-called break I'm going to take a break. It's ten to six on the dot. On the dot. Always on the dot. And um, I'm just over the halfway mark. That's really it. I'm going to shut down and venture into that room there. So I have the dishes. Put on the microwave oven and the usual. So I'm going to turn the background and start switching off these apps. I've got a problem with this little hub thing um, when it comes to deleting files off the flash drive. I 
got this folder here, I just want to delete it. Here we go again, let's try. It's just sitting there. I was hoping because the, it's because I had DaVinci open and I started to reuse the project used with this particular folder that I'm trying to delete. I thought there may have been some sort of link there, but now I've closed down DaVinci, um, I'm no wiser. The only thing I can do now is to do a quick restart and try and delete it that way. That normally does it, you know, reboot to restart. And uh, let's see if that clears it. And if it does, I'll let you know shortly. restart as I was restarting it it told me there were a couple of things open but it was too quick for me to identify what they were before it ignored it and restarted um, I'm sure it's an app manager but I don't want to guess I'm sure it's an app in the maybe that thing that hub called App Manager or Hub Manager. I didn't see Hub, I saw App, I'm sure. It was just, it was so quick. There were two things open, but I couldn't see what they were. There were hidden files, you see. So I thought, well, that's promising because when I won't go back in, it won't be there. Anyway, I deleted the files, okay, in the end. So, thumbs up. Can't find the pause button. <laughs> now, uh, so I sit down, have chili con carne on toast, the coffee. What do I watch? Well, I'm channel hopping along, and then I see From Here to Eternity, starring Montgomery Clift. Every week, I ask Sky Q about Montgomery Clift, if there are any uh, films on this week. And this film wasn't listed. I just happened to find that it's on. It just it just started in fact. You know I found it just in the ad break before it started. Alright I've got a TV guide link uh, to its website. So I searched that and it doesn't bring up, I searched for Montgomery Cliff and it doesn't bring up the film. I go to Radio Times, I search that, same there. I mean, <laughs> it's just, the mind boggles. As it goes, I've seen this film already about sometime in the 90s early to mid 90s well, I've seen it uh, but Montgomery Clift is uh, one of my favourite actors and 
I haven't seen the hairs yet. I've seen it practically everything else. I haven't seen the last one he did, no. The last one he did was the defect, I've seen that one. But the one before that, I think it's called uh, Faust or Freud. Yeah, so. Mm. You go through so much trouble to search for something to make sure you don't miss it and it just doesn't um, work. And the thing is, Montgomery Clift has got a second billion, so he should have he should have appeared in the results. I think the film is more famous for Burt Lancaster. Deborah Kerr and Frank Sinatra who won the Oscar for this film and this is the film where they they in The Godfather you've got Johnny Fontaine's character and it was a lot of people thought it was based on Frank Sinatra um, getting the, uh, the wall in this film there was a story about Frank Sinatra getting into the world and from here to eternity and, and then the writer of The Godfather used it in the book and of course we know what happens to the horse and uh, the outcome with the producer or his decision Anyway, I'm just rambling on um, I don't know if I want to carry on watching this, I'd rather get back and edit. I'm recording Lisa Tarbart because I was going to say because I can't rewind radio and I can record it. So I'd like to have her in the background while I'm typing away. So, uh, I think I'll just watch it a few more, let my dinner settle down. It's seven, nearly 7pm, 7 so I think maybe quarter past, half past seven, I'll, uh, I'll get back to the uh, keyboard. I was wrong about the uh, Sony Movies Classic Search. Because I did, I did a search on Burt Lancaster and nothing came up for him either. So it only works on the titles. <sighs> That's a shame. Oh well, uh, I haven't watched it because uh, I have seen it before and although Montgomery Clift is very, very, very good in it. He's, a na he's just natural, he's not even acting, he's natural. Um, I decided to uh, carry on. Otherwise it will be like two hours since I stopped. Right, I must put my headphones on. And proceed. I don't know what caused it to crash, but is this the hub? I hope not. Uh, so yeah, I've uh, done a disk clean up. There's only 500 meg of uh, useless data. Clean up the uh, percent, 10 percent folder. That. I had over just but the, the biggest file was about one meg and I ran an, ran an optimization so uh, I didn't restart it again though but I have restarted the Vinci
these things do happen. Hmm. All I did was add one clip and uh, it decided to crash. I added the clip, just about to play it back again and uh, that happened. Right, let's try again. Headphones. It's okay. <sighs> Just got up to uh, turn on the light, really. It's been okay, the software been stable. The export is currently running. Okay, it's going to take two hours, so just after midnight, it might be ready for upload. This is the best bit now because now I can just relax, crash out on the sofa, watch whatever, listen to whatever, fall asleep through whatever. But above all else, it's time to eat. Sandwich for two. But here we go. 